tried creating your own custom tools for your GPTs, but couldn't get the result that you wanted? Well, I have good news for you. In this video, I'll be showing you how to find and add powerful tools to your GPTs without writing a single line of code. The secret, Appify, a marketplace for high quality pre-made tools that you can seamlessly integrate into your GPTs even as a complete newbie. In this video, I'll be walking you through how to find tools on Appify and how to connect them to your GPTs in seconds. And at the end of the video, I'll be showing you a real world use case of GPTs built using Appify tools so you can understand the kind of value that can be unlocked when they're combined together correctly. If you're new to the channel and don't know who I am, my name is Liam Motley. I run my own AI development company called Morningside AI. And I also run the largest community of AI agency owners in the world. I teach people how to make money by selling AI solutions to businesses just like the GPTs and AI agents you can create using the tools on things like Appify. Let's get into it. So what is Appify? As I mentioned, it is a marketplace for finding tools. Well, in this case, it's APIs. But for us as GPT developers and people who are building AI agents, it is essentially a marketplace for tools. What makes Appify particularly powerful for us is that they have a button that allows us to immediately export any of these API tools that other third-party developers have gone and created and putting time and effort into managing and, and making sure that they work properly. As you'll see shortly, there's a, a ton of really awesome and valuable use cases that they've already created, the pre-packaged APIs that we can use. But by coming on here, we're able to leverage the hard work of other people and instantly connect them into our GPTs to add functionality that normally we would have had to build ourselves and we'd have to use other APIs or untrustworthy, unreliable ones. But what we have with Appify is kind of like a premium selection of working and high quality tools that we can easily integrate into our GPTs without having to do it ourselves. Appify is probably the best news I've seen in a long time for beginners who are looking to get into the AI space. As we know, I talk about AI agents a lot on the channel and the three ingredients that I've kind of identified of prompting, knowledge, and actions. And in this case, actions are tools. Knowledge and prompting, fairly easy to do, but the tooling is really where the magic happens and can be quite difficult for beginners to build their own or create their schemas and integrate them into their GPTs. What Appify will allow you to do as a beginner is come on and just browse around and start to build some experience of integrating tools into your GPTs, which is what I'm gonna show you how to do in the next section. So if you are a complete beginner who's just tinkering to sort of get the ball rolling on your GPT building career or, or journey, or you're an AI agency owner or developer who wants to integrate the hard work of other people into your tools to speed up delivery and reduce costs on your end, there's something on Appify for everyone. So let's jump into it. Here we are on Appify.com. They can probably do a better job of explaining themselves on their homepage here than I can. A lot of their use cases around web scraping and packaging them up into Web scraping is, is difficult oftentimes for, for regular people like you and I because the websites are changing all the time and you need proxies and you need this and that. All of this is packaged up into actors that you can basically rent the hard work of other people and setting up these systems. So a lot of the stuff we're gonna see shortly is based around web scraping and pulling new data into your GPTs without having to do all the hard work yourself. There'll be a link down below where you can just search up apify.com. I'm not affiliated with these people in any way. They have not reached out to me. I simply was recommended this by my CTO Spencer, who said, hey, this could be cool for the community. And here I am letting you guys know. So no affiliation, just think this could be really powerful for you guys and a great thing for beginners in particular. So you can click here to sign up for free. I already have an account. Then we get into Appify, we see a couple of things on the left here. We have store, actors, schedules, storage, proxy. Let's go through these quickly and give you a little orientation. On the store is where you can browse for actors, which is the, the terminology they use on the platform. So each one of these is an actor. Um, let's find one down here. Say we go um, Instagram profile, Instagram profile scraper. So instead of trying to build an Instagram profile scraper yourself or use some dodgy one anywhere else on the internet, you can come on here and use these premium tools that are 99% run succeeding and they're being used by hundreds or thousands of people regularly. There's quite a lot of stuff going on here as you can see, but basically this, uh, this input allows you to test it. So if we put my Instagram in, follow me on Instagram if you're not already, and we run it see what we get back. Goes into this actors and run section. So this will display the run and the result of it when it's done. That only took nine seconds and it pulled all my profile information. So pretty cool, very easy to do. But the magic here is if I wanted to take this Instagram profile scraper and include it into my GPT as a tool, that is super simple to do. I can come to my actors here or you can do it from the store page as well. But if I click on this and I go up to API and click on open API specification, now this may look familiar to you, but yes, we can just copy and paste this directly over into a GPT. So if I go to chat.openai.com and I go up to the top left, yes, you do need to have a chat GPT premium account or plus whatever they call it um, to create GPTs. But if I go to the explore GPTs tab on the left and go create a new GPT, we'll just call it IG data analyst and we can go and set up this tool immediately. Heading back to uh, Appify here, we can copy this in one click, paste it in here. 
oh, and you can scroll down, you can see Appify Instagram Profile Scraper, the tool is registered correctly. So now we need to do one final step, which is to go to the settings button here, API key, and we need to head back to Appify and get our API key. If we go to our settings here, and we go to integrations, you'll see your personal API token. I'm going to copy mine, head back to ChatGPT, paste in the API key, click on bearer, click OK. And now this tool should be all ready to go. If I go back, give it a little bit of information. You can fetch IG profile data and compare and contrast profiles with your IG prof profile scraper tool and compare contrast profile data. Uh, so now if we give it a little, uh, give it a picture here and I say, compare the at Liam Otley and that at Sham fame puppy Instagram profile. See how I stack up to the big man Drake here. So it's looking to run it on myself and on Drake. Confirm that. And just like that, we're successfully calling our Appify tool within our GPT. And not only is it doing it once, it's able to do it multiple times and intelligently call these tools over and over and over again. And this is just one tool. You'll see a little bit later when I show you the real world use case that I've come up with using only Appify tools. You can combine multiple tools and it can sort of call them all back to back and provide some really cool and powerful uh, use cases and, and outputs for you. Drake has a significantly larger following with over 146 million compared to Liam Motley's 10,800. Well, uh, we kind of knew how that was going to go, but that shows you how you can easily connect. You just come over here, API key, I'd save this somewhere in your notes. Once you're on any actor, you can click on the API section here, open API specification, copy this, and then put in your authentication as well once you get over to ChatGPT. One thing you may be thinking now is, okay, how much does all of this cost? If I'm honest, I don't fully understand the, the pricing structure of this app just yet, because yes, on one hand, you can see here, uh, there's a starter plan for $49 a month. It's 49 then pay as you go. It's got all these kind of technical terms in terms of about how much RAM and CPUs and proxies and stuff you get. Don't worry if that's confusing because it goes way over my head as well. But from what I understand, there's these Appify based ones or usage based ones where it's a lot more affordable based on the usage that you do. So, so for example here, $5 per 1000 video scraped. That's great, it's pretty good rates. But if you go to something like YouTube channel scraper, free for one day and then $35 a month. So I would recommend shopping around. There's, there's other people who can make the same tool. So that might not be exactly the same, but if you can avoid paying $35 a month plus usage, um, then I'd recommend trying to find the, the free or at least uh, usage only based alternative. Cause I know you guys don't want to be spending too much money on these. So I forget to put a lot of this stuff into production apps. So I'll let you know as soon as I have some more data on how much this thing is costing me at scale. So now to tie it all together, I want to show you a powerful and useful example that I've created for my own business and for my own workflows. Uh, that's only using Appify tools. So this should give you an idea of what these things can, can create when they're stacked on top of each other and used and set up in the right way. So my idea here is a YouTube co-pilot. As you can see here on the store, there's a lot of YouTube related scrapers. So I thought to myself, what are some interesting ways I could tie these together to make some kind of useful uh, insights or analytics or, or ideation service and GPT. So what I came up with was using these actors here. I have the uh, YouTube scraper, which is going to allow me to uh, search YouTube and scrape the videos that come out. So if I search voice flow, it's going to give me the videos that would have come out of that YouTube search. So this in particular allows me to research around topics programmatically. Now if I go back, I have a another YouTube scraper here that is going to take in my channel URL and pull my most recent videos. And what we need that for is because I want to have a YouTube comment scraper tool as well, that once I get the most recent videos from my channel, I can scrape all of the comments and analyze them for video ideas, for feedback, to better understand what you guys want out of me on this channel and what you're really enjoying the most. So I think this is something I've wanted to do for a while um, and automating this through a GPT and through using these tools is something I'm pretty interested in doing. So YouTube channel scraper and YouTube search scraper, I've tied these all together into a YouTube co-pilot. I've done some prompting here, which you can see here using my perfect prompt writer, which is a relevance tool that I've created. This is available on my school community. So if you're creating AI agents or GPTs and you want to use my perfect prompt writer like this, I've dialed this in to give me pretty much the exact outputs that I want and allows me to make little tweets after that. This is available on my free school community. So if you haven't already signed up, again, it's free. You can go down and there'll be a YouTube resource in the little YouTube tab related to this video. And this will be included on the post for this video. And when here, the tricky part with this is that if we're combining multiple tools together, as you can see down here, I have in the tool section, 
I have three of them. I have the YouTube search and scrape, so that's a searching tool. We have the YouTube channel scraper and we have the video comment scraper. When you're on Appify over here, if I just get the YouTube comment scraper, I can't put multiple uh, open AI specifications for the same URL in here. So if you go back to our tools, you'll see if I try to add another action here and I put in another Appify action separately from the existing Appify one here, then it will tell you that you're not allowed to set up separate actions for the same uh, tool provider. So in this case, what you have to do, it's a little bit annoying, but if we go to ChatGPT and I go to the YouTube comment scraper, I need to integrate all of these together. Uh, combine all of these open API scheme specifications together, write the entire thing. Do not omit any parts for periphery. If I need the complete version to copy into my app. Here we can paste in the three different schemas. So I go one there, go back. Um, that was the comment scraper, the YouTube scraper here. Copy this again, hit back, paste it in. And then I need to get the third one, YouTube scraper. Copy this and hit back finally, put it in there. Now this will take quite a while because these things get quite long. So I'm going to leave this for a couple minutes and I'll get back to you. And ChatGPT tries to get lazy a lot of the time and it will try to not give you the full thing. So here you can see me again trying to say, look, I need the whole thing, don't leave anything out. And so this is a little bit awkward. Uh, ChatGPT4 refused to do the whole thing and kept getting lazy and saying, look, just include the rest of it yourself. So went over to Claude 3 and was able to write me the entire thing. Um, now, I'm not sure what that means. If you have access to Claude 3, um, I think I'm paid $20 a month for this as well. And it's been able to write the whole thing as I asked for it. Um, so I'm gonna copy this over. This is only really an issue for really, really large ones when you combine multiple tools together. ChatGPT seems to do it okay for one or two, but with three, I really wanted to get everything included in this. So fingers crossed, we have all three, excellent. And I've already set up my authentication here before. So now I just need to go back. I'm going to fill in one more conversation starter here so that I can use both the tools super easy. And then I can go uh, find video ideas in my comments. As you can see down here, I've given instructions on how it should perform the particular tasks. I have the tools, then common requests to expect. And this one, find video ideas in my comments, is linked to this conversation starter. And I've given instructions on, first you need to scrape the five most recent videos from my channel. Here's the link. Then use the video scraper tool on each of those URLs. Then analyze those for video ideas based on the most common requests and the most liked comments. So you can take a little read of that there in terms of how I've instructed it to use these tools one after another. Okay, so it took a little while, but here is the output. What it has done is called the first tool of my channel URL to get my recent videos. And then it has gone to the next step of trying to get the comments from all those videos. Now it has tried to stuff them all in at once and pretty quickly realized that there's far too much information that can come back. We had an issue here with the responses too large. And then what it did, because I prompted it to try again with a single URLs, it's gone through and sent just a single URL off to get the comments, done that a couple of times on different videos, and then it's given me a breakdown of video ideas and why based on that data. So, well, this is just using two tools. I haven't even shown you the other one. I don't think I will, because it might make this video a little too long, but this shows you how you can use multiple tools. Okay, I want you to find video ideas in my comments. Here's my channel URL get the videos now use another tool on that and use it over and over and over again to get cool insights like this people want an in-depth guide on gpts and agents why because a comment had 90 likes on it they want an advanced guide on creating custom gpts and tools because there's several comments across different videos that indicate desire for that tutorial so hope this shows you a bit of the process of how you can integrate multiple appify tools into the same schema using claude or using chat gpt and combining them into a gpt that can use them to chain together these responses and create really cool outcomes for yourself or for your clients. If you guys wanna have a play around with this YouTube Copilot example yourself, I'll put the prompt and I'll put my open API schema on the school community on the resource for this video. So you can get that, you can get my perfect prompt writer as well, all available on my free school community. So my final thoughts on Appify, I'm extremely excited to see what many of you beginners and even advanced GPT creators and AI agency owners can do with these kind of resources. Myself and my team at Morningside are definitely going to be looking on Appify for tools depending on the projects that come across our desk. So as I said, I'll let you know what the price stacks up to once we put these into production for our clients. But I think it's great for AI agency owners. I think it's great for beginners to be able to start creating GPTs and seeing the magic. It's really that aha moment where you are able to go into this, find a tool, come up with an idea like this YouTube Copilot, put it all together and see it work its magic in front of you. And that's what I'm really excited for you guys to be able to get this kind of feeling without needing to know how to code and doing all the, the hard work of creating your own tools. So I won't ramble on for too much longer. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this has been helpful, please sit down below and leave a like on the video. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. I've got a bunch more videos coming on how you can create AI agents 
and GPT. So if you want to stay in the loop on how you can build skills and build businesses with those skills in the AI space, then make sure that you subscribe to the channel and you don't miss any of my future content. Leave a comment down below on any of the cool tools that you're looking to use. If you're interested in seeing how you can build an AI system to call your leads automatically, like I set up for my own company, Morningside, you can watch that video up here. But aside from that, that's all for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.